We want to prove 2023 divides a number in the form of a digit 1. That the landscape doesn't really matter. We just want to show that there exists such a number that is divisible by 2023. All right, so we're going to present two methods in the proof. We start with method one. All right, first, notice that two does not divide 2023, and five does not divide 2023 from a result regarding the fraction and decimal representation, we know that it's going to be not terminating and it's going to be a repeating decimal with some period, for example, k, which means you're going to start from here. This whole thing will repeat itself. Now there's going to be some digit here, d1, d2, and dk. Assume there's like a k digit, right? And this is going to repeat. So which means if I multiply 10 to the case bar on both the equation, okay, and this period here is going to move to here, right? And this, this is the whole integer. Let's create m, right? Let's create m, yeah. Assume M is integer composed of those digits, yeah? So there's going to be some integer, K digit integer, and then plus if you put a dot here, and the remaining one is going to be repeating. So that is exactly same value. So in other words, that is 1 over 2023. Okay, so where m is a k digit integer. Okay, so now what we do is do some algebra here, right? Multiply 2023 20, on um, both sides. What you get is 2023 20, times an integer m is going to equal to 10 k power minus 1. Okay, so that is going to be equal 9, bunch of 9s, right? Times bunch of 1s. Okay, so notice that 2023 does not have a factor of 3. Yeah, so 3 is not a factor of 2023. So, in other words, 9 and 2023 is relative prime. The so GCD of these two numbers is 1. Now, 2023 divides this number. But 9 and 2023 is co-prime, so 2023 has to divide this bunch of ones. So what we get is 2023 is a factor of those integers here. So what is this integer? This is actually the k digit, right? Okay, so that's uh, the proof. This is the first method. How about the second method? So in this case, we use a pigeonhole principle. So we consider this set. I'm gonna have one, 
one 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 and so on and so forth right and of course if the individual number we call it this is a one a two okay so on and so forth right so a k would equal one 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 and k of them now we can consider for the old a k mod twenty twenty three now the remainder here is going to be either zero one up to twenty twenty two okay so if it's zero meaning is multiple of twenty twenty three we're done right so if not we're gonna pick twenty twenty three elements from the set S. Okay? So we assume there's no zero here because if zero then is a multiple of twenty twenty three. We have possible twenty twenty two values and and we have this many objects the pigeon principle says it's guaranteed that the two elements so there exist two elements a i a j where let's say i is smaller than j such that this equation here They're congruent, right? So A I is congruent A J the mod twenty twenty three. So with that the difference will be multiple of twenty twenty three, that is twenty twenty three divides the difference of those, right? So A J is bigger, so A J minus A I. So what is that? You have a bunch of ones, j is bigger, minus another bunch of ones. This is i digit, this is j digit, so the result is going to be what? 23. The difference here is going to be 1, 1, 1, bunch of ones, about j minus i is 1, and a bunch of zeros. Yeah? Now notice that this, let's get this some number here, multiply some tens power, right? So in other words, 2023 divides 10 raised to some ice power. And then this number here is going to be what is called A, J minus I. Now this element here, this element here belongs to S, right? So this is an element in S. And here we multiply this. Now since 2023 does not contain any factor 2 or 5 and 10 to the i. So that's co-prime. So which means 2023 is going to divide a j minus i where this is purely an integer whose digits are all ones. So we have the proof using the pigeonhole principle. Okay, this is for the method number two. Okay, of course, method number one, this argument, sometimes people use a Euler five function and do the modular power to proof. 
which in the essence is going to be similar to method number one. So we don't consider it method number three. Okay. So that's the two proofs of the claim and hope you follow the steps and please like, share and subscribe to the channel.